So now what I want to do is to use an API from grok.com that will let you use freely the uh, chatbots that Grok lets you use right now. I wish that in the future it will leave, let you use more uh, chatbots. Now the point is to get the API from a uh, Grok, create an API key, create an API key, and use the code, this code that Grok gives you, to create your own chatbot for in your application. And I will show you in Python how it goes. So playground of Grok. If you are somewhere in Grok, I don't know, you're going grok.com and you are going Grok Cloud. And here you can ask for the model you want. Now view code, Python, I can take JavaScript, I can take Python. And here I copy this and I can put it right over here. Now I need a key, an API key. So I saved my API key here in secrets and I called it first. You can take the API key from Grok when I showed you. You can get an API key yourself and put it in the Grok. Uh, it will be like this API key equals your API. Now I will use my API, put it in the uh, secrets. So it would be this, okay? But in yours, it, it can be much, much easier. Okay, so I get an API and I do a permission. I use this model. This is the role of the user. This is the content. Now, if I run this, it will work, but it won't give me anything. And send an empty message. Now let's give him a message. Uh, explain me about, I don't know, we are serious. And here, I wish it would give me an answer. And here, you can show, see how it gives me an answer and explains me. And I can do many things that would make it much, much better. Like prep prompt, I can tell him, give me an academic level answer. The answer should be very short, very short, and to the point. And I can use this prep prompt, for example, go like this and give him the prompt. And now, when I run it, I wish you can see I get a much, much a shorter answer. So I can use prep prompt here. Also what I can, it is very, very interesting. I can use different models. So I can use different models to get answers from different models and compare what is it is good for. If you want, if you have two models, so you can compare the answers. And one of the main problems of the chatbots, the AI chatbots is the hallucination. So if you get two answers, from two chatbots or even more chatbots than just two chatbots, you can compare the answer and see if they told, tell you the same. If they tell you the same, you are more confident, confident, still not 100%, but you are more confident that the answer is correct. But if they give you different answers, that then you can ask, you can think maybe the answer is incorrect. So let's try to use different models. So I used here, let's call it here, let's call it print. So it's Llama 370B model. Okay, this is the answer of Llama. Now, you can see here it gives me the answer. Now, Let's give it, make it even one sentence answer only. Now let's try to insert another model and see and see how it goes. So I can tell him to use maybe other model. Let's do it. Print 
uh, mixture. Let's use mixture. So let's see how I can use another model. And let's go to Grok. Let's go to Mixra. Let's be called. This is the model I need to use. Let's go back to Lama, uh, to my Google Colab. And let's change this model to this Mixra model. And let's see if I get another answer. Oi, I don't want Lama here. I want Mixra here. Let's see. And maybe I should have done some. Okay, now you can see this is the answer from Lama 70B model, and this is the answer from Mixra 87B. The Fourier series is a representation of as so you just you can feel how I can check the answers if I ask him, for example, to show me the formula for Fourier series in real so let's see i get an answer from lemma and this is the answer this is the formula from lemma and mixra didn't give me an oh because it didn't change so i can do like this prompt and i can give him the prompt no, let's do with an MSG with G's. And now the prompt will get a prompt plus MSG. And let's use this here. Right? And here. Right? Now I will get the same message to both chatbots. And here is the message and the answer from Lemma. And this is the answer. From Mixtra. Uh, yes, it's not very nice. Here it's, it's nicer. Maybe I need to work on the map writing and everything. But you can see I get two answers. Now let's show you. I, I played with it a little bit with the CSS with the HTML and you can use HTML in Google Colab and you can see what I did and I, I, I asked Gemini or something to give me a more fancy one and one with buttons so I can do very fancy things like uh, show me the formula or I don't know the second law of Newton how do you call the say Newton Force. I want that f equals ma. Now I click enter and it will give me the answer f equals ma, f equals ma. Now what I did also is made conversation history so it should remember what I told him. So now let's ask him to give me the let's say the first uh, law. The first law of what I asked you about. Let's see if you remember I thought about Newton. Here it is. And it tells me Newton's first law, but it didn't tell me I talked about Newton. It's the previous uh, conversation. So it tells me about the previous, and here is Mixer also give me the answer. Uh, mm, now, Tell me about the man. Which man? Newton. Let's see. Here he talks to me. He talks with me about Newton. It remembered. This is because the conversation history and everything I did in the code. So if you remember the conversation history, you can see how it goes. And now when I click clear, it will clear all the text and I have a chatbot or maybe double chatbot. Now I can use another model, so I can compare three models and have three different answers and see if the different answers are the same. And if it does, it's better or it can give me more confidence in the answer. And I did use API and I did it in my application 
and it's free. It's nice. So it was very nice to talk and see how I can use an API from Grok freely to use my own, to create my own chatbot, to compare between different chatbots, to use different chatbots, to create a chatbot with history, with clear buttons. Very nice one. Here it is. So if there are any correction or mistakes or anything you can add, you want to add, please feel free. You can even do it seems much, much better. Here I did somewhere a very nice one. You can see I did a very, maybe not very, but it looks better. You can do some CSS here. Okay, so you can use HTML here in iPython display import HTML. You can use HTML in Python. So in Python and Google Colab, so it can look better. Okay, so if there are any correction, if there are anything to add, please correct me. Thank you very much. This is to use API for chatbots in Google Colab in Python, but you can also use different thing here. You can use something else. It's just that Grok is free, so it's much easier to use. Thank you very much, and that's it.